Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.25 from the chapter number 3. Okay, the problem is list the 8 degenerate 2 level forms and so that they reduce to a single operation. The meaning of this line is that we have to list the eight degenerate two level forms the degenerate form is if the output of two level logic realization can be obtained by using single logic gate then it is called as degenerate form that means if the logic realization of a two level logic gate can be represented or can be minimized to a single gate representation then that two level form is called as the degenerate form okay here in this case we can see that obviously the number of inputs of a logic gate that is that will be increased and we have eight degenerate forms and we'll discuss it one by one so first of all we will see the first degenerate form number one i am writing it one by one okay i will write it then i will draw the logic circuit so first of all we will see and and n n okay this n n means in the first level we will use n get and as well as in the second level also we will use n get okay so let me draw it so this is one get this is another get suppose we have two input here a b okay then we have c and d these are the two n gets then the output will be supplied or become the input of a n gate because the second gate second stage also we have n operation this n gate here means this first level so in the second level so this is the second level of logic gate okay so here in both the case we have used n gate so a and b if the it is the input of a n gate so we'll get here a b okay here we can see that it is c and d so here we'll get c d again we have n get so these two inputs will be multiplied again okay so we'll have a b c d at the output so here also you can see that this a b c d can be drawn so i am drawing it again this logic circuit can be redrawn in a single level as four input n get suppose this is the n get and we have four inputs a b c and d then what we'll get a b c d if this realization can be uh, obtained using a single logic gate then this form is called as the degenerate form okay you need to be clear that this two level form is called the degenerate form we can represent a degenerate form using only a single gate here we can see that the number of input is increased so we have got a n operation okay in the single level so this becomes a n operation so this is the first degenerate form of the eight degenerate two level forms okay now let us see the second form in the second form we'll have suppose we have or 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 get and or get that means in the first stage also we have or get and in the second stage also we have or get here we will get after drawing the diagram i will write it here okay in the case of or get here we have to draw or get okay so another or get so here we have a and b i will repeat the similar process okay c and d these are the two inputs here in the lower part so we will get here a plus b here also will get a plus sorry c plus d c plus d okay in the next level also in the second level also we have or get so draw here a or get so these will be the inputs of this or get so what we'll get here a plus b will be added to c plus d so we'll get here a plus b plus c plus d so we got this expression at the output okay so this is another degenerate form so what we can do here we can represent this two level <coughs> logic circuit with a single or get because 
you can see that a plus b plus c plus d here we have only addition so if we draw a full input or gate okay and this a b c and d are the inputs here also we'll get a plus b plus c plus d here also you can see that in the second case we can uh, represent this degenerate form using a or level or or logic gate so here we'll write or that means this degenerate or or degenerate form can be represented with a single or gate okay now let us go to our third part in the third degenerate form we will have and and nand that means in the first stage we will use and get and in the second stage we will use nand get okay so let us draw it so we have and get in the first level so draw to and gets a b c and d and nand get these two outputs will be the input of the second level okay so here we'll get after this and get we'll get a b here we'll get c d so a b and c d are the input they will be multiplied and we have to complement it so we will get a b multiplied with c d whole complement because it is a nand gate so this expression so this boolean expression can be represented with a uh, four input single nand gate because we have a complement multiply it then complement then we can draw a four input nand gate okay a b c and d okay so here also we'll get a b c d okay whole complement so this is nand gate that means a NAND gate can be degenerate into AND gate and NAND gate. So let us go to our fourth part of the problem. In the fourth part, we have OR and NOR. OR and NOR. That means we have OR gate in the first level and NOR gate in the second level. OR gate in the first level. So let us draw two OR gates. So this is one OR gate. This is second OR gate. Okay. So we'll have A, B, these are the two inputs, C and D, these are the two inputs, okay. Then in the second stage, we have NOR, okay, so draw a NOR gate here, okay, this is NOR gate, and these two will be the input of this NOR gate, okay. So here, we'll get A plus B, because it is an OR operation, A plus B, here we'll get C plus D, Okay, this A plus B and C plus D are the input to this or uh, NOR gate. Okay, so we'll get, we have to add this A plus B with C plus D and we have to take complement. That means we'll get A plus B plus C plus D whole complement. So here we can see that it is nothing but a NOR operation with four input. So we can redraw this function with a single four input NOR gate. Okay. So, here we'll get A plus B plus C plus D whole complement, okay, and we'll have four inputs A, B, C, and D, okay. So, this logic circuit or this two level or NOR logic can be represented with a single NOR operation. So, we can write it as nor so this nor get can be degenerate into or and nor gets okay this is the fourth type of degenerate form now let us go find our fifth type of degenerate operation in the fifth type of degenerate form we have nor and nand nor and nand okay so in the first level we will use nor get okay A, B, C, D. Okay, here we'll get A plus B whole bar because it is a NOR gate. Here we'll get C plus D whole bar. Then we have to use NAND gate in the second level, second stage. So we'll get 
these two inputs we have to multiply these two and complement okay so a plus b whole bar into c plus d whole complement then we have another complement because we have NAND gate so if we use de morgan's theorem to rewrite this function we can rewrite it as it is a b whole bar so we can write it as a bar plus b bar so we can see that it is a bar b bar whole bar okay a bar plus b bar then we'll get a bar plus b bar so a plus b so we'll have two times complement suppose let us write it down this is one time complement again two times complement okay plus because it is multiplied because after using de morgan's theorem what we'll get we'll get c plus d whole bar and whole complement so here again I, we can write it as this complement and this complement will be cancelled so we can directly write it as a plus b plus c plus d because this complement and this complement will be also cancelled okay so we'll only have a plus b plus c plus d okay so we can redraw this two level degenerate form using a four input or get a plus b plus c plus d so here we'll have a b c and d okay so here we can write it as this is the degenerate form of or get that means this OR gate can be degenerate into a two level NOR and NAND gate. Then we have six types NAND and NOR. NAND and NOR. Okay, so first step, in the first step we will use NAND gate and in the second step we will use NOR gate. Let us draw two input NAND gate. Okay, A, B, C, D okay here we'll get a b whole bar c d whole bar okay then in the second step we'll use nor get okay we'll get a b whole bar plus c d whole bar and whole complement because in the nor operation we have or and complement this is the addition and complement okay so we can rewrite this this expression as a b and this will become c d because two times complement it will be cancelled this complement will be cancelled with this one okay so we, ha we have got this a b c d so this is nothing but a n operation so we can redraw using a four input n get so we'll get here a b c d okay and we will have the input a b c and d this is the degenerate two level form of this four input and get now let us go to our seventh part seventh type of degenerate form that will be nor and n nor and n so this can be written as this is n operation so it is the N operation okay this n gate can be degenerate into nan and nor okay so then we have this first level we have nor gates okay so a b then we have nor gate c d okay we will have here c plus d whole bar then we have a plus b whole bar okay and and get a plus b whole bar into because it is and get so it will be multiplied with c plus d whole bar so we can write it as this is suppose a this is b we can see that a bar b bar so in the de morgan theorem we saw that a plus b whole bar equal to a bar b bar so we can write it as a plus b whole bar okay a is what a plus b plus c plus d is b c plus d then whole bar okay so this is nothing but a nor operation so we can rewrite or we can redraw this with a four input nor get a plus b plus c plus d 
whole value. So we have A, B, C, D. Okay, so this is the NOR operation. We have four input NOR gate. That means this NOR operation can be degenerated into NOR and NAND. Okay, two level NOR and NAND gates. Then we have this eight part, eight type of degenerate form NAND and or so in the first stage we'll have NAND gates A B C D okay so here we'll get A B full bar then C D full bar okay then then in the next stage we have OR gate so draw here OR gate okay so this will be the two inputs so this will be the two inputs okay and here we'll get a b whole bar plus c d whole bar so this can be written as a b c d whole bar okay suppose if we break this expression so what we'll get a b c d a b suppose it one term c d one term so a into b whole bar we can write it as a bar plus b bar okay so this can be redrawn as a four input NAND gate so a b c d so here we'll get a b c d okay whole bar so equal to we can write it as this NAND gate, NAND gate. So this is the solution of the problem number 3.25. So here I have already explained how the two level degenerate forms. So this is the two level degenerate form and it can be realized with a single four input and gate. Here in this case or here in this case we can see it is a single or gate. And in the third case we have seen it is a four input NAND gate. In the fourth case it is a four input NOR gate. Okay. Similarly, in the fifth case, we have seen it is a four input OR gate, and in the sixth case, we have it is a four input AND gate. In the seventh case, we have used a four input NOR gate, and in the eighth case, we have used four input NAND gate. Okay, so this is the solution. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.